Hey guys, my name is Jared Schoemaker. This is the Magnetic Minds Club. Today's video, we've done this a few times. We talked about this a few times, but I never specifically gave you guys my perspective on stepfather, single mom, any of that stuff. So today's video, we're going to talk about dating a single mom. Is it a good idea? Is it something that I advocate for? Is it something that's worth it long term? I can speak to both sides of this because when I got out of the military, I reconnected with a female who I dated sort of in high school. I reconnected with her and she had a three-year-old. And so I became a stepdad. And so I absolutely understand what it means to be a stepfather. And going through all of those years of being a stepfather, having biological kids of my own, I have a very unique perspective on it. And so I'm not just talking out of my ass. I've been there, I've done that, I've been through the fire, and I want to give you guys my perspective on being a single father. And if I had to do it over again, if I knew what I knew now and were able to travel back in time, would I do it again? And the answer is no, a very hard no. This video isn't bashing single moms and this video isn't bashing men who are single or stepfathers. All I'm doing is giving you guys my objective opinion based off my own reality. It's not subjective because I've been through it. And so the idea of dating a single mom, I guess back then when I was 26 years old, reconnecting with my ex now, um, I never really put a lot of thought into it. I kind of thought that was something I just had to do if I wanted to be with her. I kind of had to accept the child and sort of like in the back of my mind, I sort of had to deal with it. Now I know society says, and you hear fucking women and feminized men say a real man will step up and take care of somebody else's child and love them like their own. That has nothing to do with being a real man. Does it take a strong man? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's no doubt about it. it. Just takes a different type of person to want to go into that abuse, basically. So what I call it. And this is what I went through. I did not have kids. I freshly got out of the military. I was transitioning careers. I you know, wanted to get into real estate, still stay as a medic. I had all of these ambitions, all of these thoughts. All of these things I wanted to do, and I do think about how much further my life could have gone if I didn't take on the responsibility so young of getting into a committed relationship and now having all of the responsibility of being a stepfather. Her biological father was never in the picture, not even since day one. So I took on this responsibility. And looking back in it, I have what's called the rescuer role mindset. I, because I was a medic in the military, my mindset is always to step in and rescue somebody. We've talked a lot about the drama triangle and how we all fit into that prior to me getting going through therapy, going through coaching and stuff, I realized that I was the rescuer role. I had that rescuer role mindset. And so my thought process way back then, and I remember this to this day, is I can save them. They need saving. They need rescuing. She needs a father. She needs a husband. She needs me to step in 
and saved the day. It felt good saying it. It felt like everybody around me was cheering. Oh my God, that's great. And society cheers. But here's what I recognize. Society doesn't really respect stepfathers. Nobody really respects stepfathers. And as the years, as the months grew into years, and as she grew older and older, things happen in life. And to this day, five, six years ago, stopped communicating with me altogether. I was the bad person. I was the asshole. Yet I raised her, spent money on her, provisioning, treated her like part of the family, all of that stuff. And at the end of the day, nothing. So it's a thankless job. So if you're getting into this and you're starting to date a single mom and you're younger right now and you don't have kids, please listen to this message. I am not bashing the woman. I am just giving you my perspective. Please women understand it's fine. You guys don't think there's anything wrong with it. You think it's morally okay for another man to step in but there's a lot more to it that men think about and I'm here to verbalize what it is we actually think about because I was in this role when you take on the responsibility of another human another man's child you are effectively subcommunicating to everybody around you and to that man that you are beta, that he ultimately is the alpha in this relationship because he had the opportunity to pass along his DNA, to pass along his seed into the woman now you're with to have a child. And whether he's in the picture or not, he was her first choice. Make no mistake about it, men. A father, a biological father to the mother, I don't care if the mother hates him. I don't care if the mother says he's no good. I don't care if the mother says he's a loser. Well, you picked him. You decided to open up your legs and have a child. And what's worse is when they have multiple child by the same person and they bash that guy. To me, that's laughable. It's like, okay, I can see you made a mistake once. Why did you do it again? That's not a mistake. Okay. You cannot compete against the biological father of that child in any realm. There's no competition. He was the first at the goal line. He was the first to ejaculate in her. He was the first to be with her before you. He has a child, and so for life, for life, men, they will be connected through that child. You have to understand that. He's always going to be in the picture, even if he's not in the picture. In my case, I don't even know who this guy is. No clue. But he's there. He's a shadow. He's a representation of another alpha who got to the goal line before me and then I came in and I was very beta and I took responsibility for another man's ejaculation. That's what I did. And this is effectively what you're doing when you get involved with a, a single bomb and you take it to the level of moving in, marriage, becoming a stepfather. You're effectively taking responsibility for another man's ejaculation. It sounds cold. It sounds harsh. It's a tough pill to swallow. I was there. I've had to swallow that pill and understand, fuck, what am I doing? And it has nothing to do with me not loving the child. It was me of really understanding what I was getting myself into. And at that point, it became too late. I was in a marriage. I was had my own children at this time. There was a dynamic with this stepdaughter who was different. When you have your own children and then you have a stepdaughter or stepson, it is different. It feels different. When you have your own children, you feel more connected to them. 
because you are. They are your DNA. They are your blood. They are your kin. A stepchild just isn't. And I don't think a lot of men really understand it. And I think a lot of men enter into these relationships on the idea of love and on the idea of they're a rescuer and this idea that they'll come in and fix shit and there's nothing you can really fix. You can possibly enhance to a degree their status of living. Maybe you make a little good money and you can enhance that. But you can't really do anything with that stepchild. They're not yours. A man who prefers not to date single moms is a preference. Just like a man who prefers not to date, maybe he's white and he prefers not to date black people. That's a preference. Maybe he's black or he's black and he does not want to date white people. Those are all preferences and that's fine. You like what you like. You have preferences. Just like women say, I don't want to date a short guy. That's fine. You don't see short men standing up and saying, a real woman would step up and love me the way she should because I'm short. Fuck no, you don't. Guys just accept it. Okay, I'm short. You don't want to date me. Cool, not a problem. I don't date fat bitches. I don't apologize for it. I don't explain myself why you're overweight. I'm not interested. That's a preference. You can fat shame me all you want. You can do all of this shit. It goes in one ear and out the other. I have preferences. So when a guy says, I don't want to date single moms. I don't want to be a stepfather. Move it along. It's fine. Of the guys who are fine with that, I do applaud you guys. I was there. It is hard. I'm not going to put you guys down. I know some channels put these men down and say you're beta. I know some guys say that's the worst thing you can do. I'm not going to do that to you because I was beta. It is a beta move. It is a move that I will not repeat again, but I did it. So, well, you know, there's nothing I can say. I can't take it back and say, oh, you guys are all beta bitches. I was a beta bitch too. So... I'm not cutting men who are watching this, their stepfathers, but I guarantee you most of the men that are watching this right now, if you're a stepfather, I guarantee you understand where I'm coming from. I guarantee in some level, it's a lot harder to navigate this type of relationship than it is a relationship where you actually are biologically connected to your children. It just is. Now, guys, if you're liking this content, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and fuck, while you're at it, hit the bell icon so that you know when new videos are being dropped. The question now becomes, do you not date single moms at all? That's the kind of the question where I'm coming at now. And a lot of people ask me this, and I'm dating a single mom right now. She doesn't live anywhere near me and she actually understands, or I hope she understands because I've said it 20 fucking times, but she understands where I'm coming from when it comes to becoming a stepfather again and moving that relationship into where I have this responsibility that I'm not willing to do. I've said this very early on, very often, and... It's a relationship of not being a dick, but it's like, this is where I'm at. If you're fine with it, great. If you're not, I definitely want you to go and find somebody who can fill that beta role if that's what you want. I'm not willing to do it. So my perspective has now shifted because I have lived experience. I understand what all of that means. I understand that. I have finite resources. I understand that I have their older kids, but I have kids. They come first. They're my children. I'm not willing anymore to give up the resources I have to raise yet again some other man's child. I already did it once. I'm just not interested in doing it again. So you can date single moms as long as you're 
open and honest with them and leave it up to them. If they're fine with the arrangement, there are single moms that I know that they don't want the kids involved in the relationship at all. They kind of want to keep it casual. I'll date you when I can. I'll see you what I can. And the relationship seems to work that way. Then there's single moms that they look for stepfathers. I'll say this again. More often than not, single moms are looking for stepfathers. They're not looking for husbands. Because of her child or children now have to come first, as they should, that means she's looking for somebody, some man, who has resources and those resources are available to her and her children. This by definition, now she's looking for a provider. She's looking for a beta male provider. Guys, again, I was already one of these, so don't get mad at the message. This is just the truth. After that part is established, after this guy agrees that he is going to take on this responsibility, and the way he agrees to it is by getting involved <clears throat> with the children, by committing to the children. Maybe he's going to a couple of their games while they're dating. Maybe he's helping with the homework. Maybe he's taking them all on a trip. He's investing in the children just like he's investing in the woman during the courtship. So this lets her know that, okay, he's using his resources on me. And he's also using his resources on my kids. Now I can invest into him. Once that is established, this is then where love comes in, okay? I need, you, I need to understand there's two different things. There's love and there's a relationship. Neither one of them have anything to do with each other. And once a woman hits single mom stage, or once a woman actually is older and she's a single mom, she doesn't have the right, number one, nor does she have the ability to just seek out love for the sake of seeking out love. She has a responsibility to the children, and that responsibility is to keep resources coming in. If that means finding another beta male, great. And if I happen to like him, cool. If I love him, even better. But love has nothing to do with it. The first thing is, is resources. It's always going to be resources. And again, it's no knock on her. That's what she needs. She needs resources for the children. This is why when you hear women say, my children and I are a package deal. If you love me, you love them. And you hear this all the time. What they're really saying is, you're not my first choice, obviously, because I have kids. I let somebody else dump in me. That's basically what they're saying. You're not my first choice. I made some mistakes in my past and I need you to step up and fix them. The pathway to fixing my mistakes for you is to marry me, take on my debt, share your resources with me and my kids. Remember, I'm the prize. My dad tells me I'm the prize. My male friends that want to sleep with me all tell me that I'm amazing and that some guy will be lucky to have me. Fuck, Steve Harvey tells me on his show every day I watch it that I'm a queen and I'm the boss, babe. And everyone who comments, hearts, likes on my social media, even when I'm taking a dump, tells me and reinforces in me and my false narrative that I'm special. All you have to do is submit to taking on the burden of my ex-alpha male's responsibilities. That's all you got to do. And by default, you become the beta male. If you comply, I might, just maybe, remember, my body, my choice, provide you with a child if you're good. Also, I'm going to give you access sexually to me when I'm in the mood and when you've done every task I've asked for you exactly how I want. 
then I'm going to provide you sex. Sometimes. Did you pick up Jimmy? You know, your son from school? Oh, good boy. Thank you. Why did you punish Jimmy? My son. I can't believe you. I can't believe that you'd punish my son over something he was supposed to do. You're a monster. I don't even know you anymore. Do you see how it works? It's your son, our kids, when shit goes right. It's my son, my child, when shit goes wrong. All the responsibility, none of the authority. This is why inherently it is not a good idea to be a stepfather or to even enter in a long-term committed relationship with a single mom. And here's another thing you need to understand, guys. The biological father of these children has already won. He already, on an evolutionary standpoint, fucking blew his load into your girl who willingly opened up her legs and rewarded this man with her body and having the opportunity to reproduce. In this case, it was a successful reproduction. Maybe she did it once, maybe she did it twice, maybe she did it three times. But all of these times, she allowed this man to have her body to reproduce. So on an evolutionary standpoint, his DNA gets pushed into future generations. But you get the privilege of paying for this child and raising this child. A single mom is connected for life, for life, to the man through her children. And at some point, on some level, you're going to have to deal with this other man. Now, I never physically had to deal with the man, physically, but I always had to hear about the ghost of him. I always had to hear about what a bad person he was. He was so bad, nobody could tell me who he was. He was so bad. I always had to deal with when I'm looking at my, my stepdaughter, figuring out, well, what features of her is him? What features is my wife? You always have to deal with them in some capacity. I don't think men actually understand until they're actually in it, until they're physically in the fucking fire most guys think it's pie in the sky and it's going to be amazing. There's going to be rainbows and unicorns and cool music playing. It's not the case. Finally, when the kid gets mad at you and he put all this time, attention, and effort into him, what does he get to say and throw in your face? You're not my father. You break up with the woman and you did get a bond with the child? Well, fuck you. It doesn't matter. The child's not yours. You have no access to that child anymore. You have no rights to that child. Guys, the math just doesn't add up. The math doesn't math. And so I need you guys to at least take all of this in. If you're in this predicament now, or maybe you're starting to date a single mom and you are younger and you don't have kids of your own, I'm telling you, this is not the path for you. This is not the path for you to go on. I get a lot of heat from single mothers. And I always ask the single moms, if you have a son, and the son doesn't have kids on his own, would you want him to take on the responsibility of some other woman's offspring? Most of them that are intelligent say, no, that I, I wouldn't want that. So why are you doing it? Again, I'm not here to bash single women. I'm not here to bash men that are stepfathers. And I'm not here to bash men that will not date single moms. Everybody has a unique point in this. I'm giving you my perspective. I've been on both sides of the fence. And I can tell you if I had to do it all over again, I would not do it. My name is Jared Skimicker. This is Magnetic Men's Club. I hope you found this video. Leave a comment. Tell me to fuck off. That's fine. I don't care. But this is the reality of most men's situations when they become step parents. It's not always rainbows. It's usually not the way we initially think it's going to be. With that, we'll talk soon. Thanks.